Hello! In this video we will be highlighting several different sources of native starch and their inherent gel properties. We will especially be focusing on the color, clarity, and texture of each gel and how they differ depending on the botanical source. We will start by cooking the starch in water at a ratio of 95% water to 5% starch until the mixture boils. So we already have the water and starch all weighed out. And this right here is our Pen Pure 66, which is our native dent cornstarch. Okay, so we'll mix it here and then we'll walk all over to our stove. And we'll start cooking it right here. So as with a lot of things on the stove, you want to stir occasionally so the starch does not settle out. And we're going to, be going to cook this until it boils. And we're back. As you can see here, uh, this is starting to bubble up on the side. And it is starting to thicken as well. And we will... Continue to heat and stir until this reaches a rolling boil. We have a total of six native starches that we are going to show, and we will show those after this. This is the only one we're going to show actually stirring, though. Now you see, you can clearly see that it's a much thicker mixture now than it was a few minutes ago. Again, we'll continue to stir occasionally to make sure it gets heated evenly throughout. And now you can see it's at a full boil. So we will turn the heat off in a moment, and then we will let this mixture cool for about five minutes or so, and then we will compare and contrast our different native starch gels. The first starch gel we're going to show you is our Pen Pure 10, which is our native potato starch. So you can see right here, it's a fairly clear gel and about medium to long texture. You see it's kind of stringy right here. And it's pretty high viscosity. This is a, a very thick starch. Again, these are all at 5% starch use level. And it has the highest water binding capacity among the different starch sources. We'll move along to our next one, which is our Pen Pure 30. This is our native regular rice starch. As you can see, it's fairly opaque, forms a very white color. Much like the potato, this has a very neutral flavor. However, you, look, you can notice it has a different texture. It's kind of lumpy, and it's very short. It's not stringy like the previous one. And this next step starts to the right of this. This is our Pen Pure 37, which is our native waxy rice starch. Unlike the regular rice starch, this has a clearer texture. And it's a little bit longer, a little stringier, but also, as you can see, this is lumpy as well. And a little bit thicker than the regular rice also. Next one over, this is our Pen Pure 50, which is our native tapioca starch. This one is a fairly clear gel, as you can see. It has a bit of a color to it, and that's just the nature of tapioca. However, this will not show up in finished product. Um, one of the most distinguishing features is that it's a very long texture, very stringy. You can see, there you go, get a good idea of the uh, stringiness here. <clears throat> Excuse me. Our Pen Pure 66. This is our native dent corn starch. This is the one you saw me mix up earlier. And this one is very opaque. You can see it has a somewhat of a texture here, a medium texture. Um, it's not as viscous as, say, the potato, but you can still see it's it has formed some viscosity. 
Unlike the other starches, which have very neutral flavors, this does have a distinct corn, a little bit of a cereal note to it. And then the last starch we're going to show you, this is our Pen Pure 70, this is our waxy corn starch. You can see this is much clearer, much more transparent than our Pen Pure 66. Um, this also has a slight corn cereal flavor. It has a bit of a stringy texture, definitely a little bit longer than the 66. And it's a little lumpy as well, kind of like the waxy rice. So what we are going to do now is we will put the, all of these jars into our refrigerator, let them sit overnight, and we will evaluate them tomorrow morning um, to give them a chance to fully retrograde. All right, it's been uh, 24 hours since we put these samples of starch gels into the refrigerator, and now we are going to see what they look like after spending this time at refrigerated temperatures. We will start again with our Pen Pure 10, our native potato starch. You may remember from yesterday that the gel was fairly clear. As you see here, it's very opaque, so that has changed. And take a look as I take some spoonfuls of it. The texture is much thicker. It looks almost like jello and is very short now. And this is, again, the nature of potato. It just forms a very firm and short gel, gel texture after cooling. Moving on to our Pen Pure 30 regular rice starch. At first glance, you can see that this is softer than the Pen Pure 10. It's almost a jelly-like texture. The color is still fairly the same as yesterday, a nice white color. Still a short texture, not quite, again, as thick as the Pen Pure 10. There we can give an idea of how it looks. Moving on to Pen Pure 37 uh, waxy rice. It's still fairly transparent, and uh, the nature of waxy starches, they are 99% uh, amylopectin, and as a result, it's a very soft texture. As you can see here, it's softer even than the regular rice. Uh, and I'll watch this, I'll take some spoonfuls of it. So you can see it does have somewhat of a longer texture, and this is due to the high amylopectin content as well. Moving on to Pen Pure 50, our tapioca. Uh, you can see this is a very shiny texture, a little bit softer than Pen Pure 10, uh, the potato, but uh, still nice and thick. It has a little bit of that off-white color again, but that's, again, due to the nature of the tapioca, will not show up in a finished product application. Taking spoonfuls of it, you can see it still has uh, some of that longer texture, not quite as much as when it was warm, but still more so than a lot of our other starches. Okay, moving on to Pen Pure 66, which is our dent corn starch. This has a very firm and short texture as well, and it is the most opaque out of all these gels, even more so than the Pen Pure 10, which again is the potato. Take some spoonfuls of this. Again, it's very short, but much like the Pen Pure 10, very firm, much like Jello. And if you take a closer look, you can almost see some of the water separating from the gel. And uh, unfortunately, this is one of the limitations of native starch gels in general. Um, just the nature of what happens when the starch gel cools, the molecules tend to reassociate themselves and at times can squeeze out a little bit of the water. Now to our final starch gel, Pen Pure 70, which is waxy corn. Again, like the Pen Pure 37, it's 99% amylopectin, so a very soft texture, much softer than the dent corn, and much more transparent, relatively speaking, than the dent as well. Take some spoonfuls. Again, you can see it's shiny, has longer texture than the 66. And uh, that's it. This concludes our native starch gel demonstration.